pressure law. Pressure law states that for the fixed mass, okay, it's always for the fixed mass, okay, it's in a closed system and the mass of the gas is uh, constant. The pressure of the gas is directly proportional to the absolute temperature. Okay, take notes that this must be the absolute temperature. Absolute temperature is the temperature in Kelvin. Eh? So you cannot give, give the temperature in degrees Celsius. This must be in Kelvin. So the pressure is directly proportional to the absolute temperature. So pressure directly proportional to the absolute temperature means that the temperature increase, the pressure will increase. Eh? Uh, the requirement is the volume of the gas kept constant. The volume of the gas cannot change. Eh? Uh, so can you please tell me if P directly proportional to T, then what's the formula? What's the formula for pressure law? We already know the relationship, right? P directly proportional to T. Eh? So what's the formula? P1 over uh, T1. P1 over T1 equals to P2 over T2. Of course, you want to give P1 over P2 equals to T1 also T2 also can. Eh? Okay, It's the same. So P1 over T1 equals P2 over T2 uh, if it's inversely proportional. So this is the formula, okay? Explanations. Why? Why the temperature increase, pressure increase? Okay. Um, when the temperature increase, the kinetic kinetic energies of the gas will increase. Means that the gas will move faster when the temperature increases. Eh? So higher temperature, faster the motions of the gas particles. So the air molecules will collide with the wall of the container at higher velocity and frequency. So if, if we move faster, it will collide it more frequently. Okay, right? Collide it more frequently and collide it with higher velocity. And as a result, okay, we collide it more frequently and collide with higher velocity, the pressures of the gas will increase. Eh? Okay, the pressures of the gas will increase and causing an increase in volume. But uh, causing increase of volume, this one you can cancel because uh, uh, this is in a closed container and uh, the volume of the gas is constant. The volume of the gas is constant. That's the explanations for uh, pressure law. Temperature increase, pressure increase. Eh? For the graph, we know that uh, P is directly proportional to the temperature, okay? So how's the graph? Okay, now for the graph, we can see that uh, we have P against T uh, for absolute temperature and we have P against T for degree Celsius. Eh? Now for P against T, uh, for absolute temperature, because they are directly proportional, eh? so then you have a straight line passes through the origins, okay? But for P against T where the temperature is degree Celsius, it's still a straight line, but the straight line does not pass through the origins. Instead, it will pass through the origins at a negative touch the zero, okay? It will touch the zero at negative 270 three degrees celsius eh? so it will touch the x-axis at negative 273 degrees celsius but not here okay so um it's important for you to know this eh? because uh sometimes you may be asked to sketch the graph uh, then you must be careful okay p uh, t in kelvin or t in degree celsius t in kelvin it touched the origin t in degree celsius it does not touch the origins eh? And then uh, PT, we know that if P directly proportional to T, then PT, P over T is a constant. Okay, P over T will be equal to the constants, and therefore uh, it's a horizontal straight line. Uh, P against T, P over T against P, or P over T is against T uh, is a constant. So you are going to get a horizontal straight line like this. Uh, so this shows that P directly proportional to the absolute temperature. But if the temperature is degree Celsius, the graph does not pass through the origin. And a P over T is always a constant for, uh, for all the values of uh, P and T, okay? Example two, an iron cylinder containing gas with pressure 200 kilopascal. So we have uh, pressure, okay, P1 equal to 200k, 200k means 200,000, okay? 200,000 Pascal. When it's kept 
in a rooms of temperature 27 degrees Celsius. So T1 equals to 27 degrees Celsius. Okay, take notes that this is given in degrees Celsius. Eh? And uh, you must change this to Kelvin. Eh? So it's equals to 27 plus 273, which is equal to 300 Kelvin. Okay, so if the temperature given in degrees Celsius, then you must convert it to Kelvin. For all the gas loss questions, all the gas loss questions, if the temperature given in degrees Celsius, you must change it to Kelvin. Eh? Okay. Uh, what is the pressures of the gas? So they want us to find the pressures of the gas. If the cylinder is located outdoor where the temperature is 35 degrees Celsius, so the T2 is 35 degrees Celsius. Eh? 35 degrees Celsius is 35 plus 273. Okay, which is equal to um, 308, 308 Kelvin. Okay, so that's what we have. And then according to uh, pressure law, okay, pressure law, we know that uh, P1 over T1 equal to P2 over T2. P1 is uh, 200 thousands, T1 is uh, 300, and a P2 we don't know, T2 is 308, eh? 308. so therefore uh, P2 equals to what? So the answer is uh, P2 equal to 205000 Pascal, round up to 3 significant figure, eh? okay? Uh, because the value that we use here is three significant figure, so that's that's how we do the calculations. And make sure that you you change the temperature from degrees Celsius to Kelvin, okay.